subscribe to my channel and click on this bell icon for being updated with my latest content. Connecting to the JDBC databases is quite an easy task in MuleSoft. Similar to the file connector, we have database connector component available which allows Mule application to run diverse queries like select, insert, update, delete. In fact, we can even execute stored procedures. My name is Vishal, welcome to my channel and today I am going to walk you through this database connector component. Alright, so I have set up a MySQL server on my local machine and created a new database called MyMuleDB. Inside that, I have created a new table called employee underscore records which is going to hold some employee related stuff. And I inserted few records in the table. So there are four records as of now in my table. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this database configuration to retrieve these values from the table using database connector in MuleSoft. So I'm going to create a flow for it. Okay, so here we are in AnyPoint Studio. So let's go ahead and create a flow for it. So the first component, as we know, will require is the HTTP connector. So it's pretty straightforward now to configure the HTTP connector. I just have to configure the connector configuration. So I click on this add button. Same host and port I'm going to take, 881. I click on OK. Inside path, I'm going to give this name, get employees from DB allowed method as get okay now the second component would be database connector since we are going to hit the mysql database we need to have a database configurations configured in this component so inside this connector configuration click on this add symbol select mysql configuration since i have a mysql database so i'm going to select that mysql in case if you have any other database like oracle or derby you can choose that configuration so i click on mysql configuration and click on ok now here the host is it's running on my local so it's local host port by default for the mysql it's a 3306 but i'll change it to 3308 so this one username it's root password is something and database name is my mule db all right now if you scroll down there is another way you can configure the database configuration using db database url as of now i'm going to skip that now here we need to add a driver to connect to that mysql database so uh, you must be having a driver to connect that uh, in case if you don't have you have to download it from the Google for the it's similar to the JDBC connectors or the drivers we have to connect with in Java so you need to have the driver so I have already downloaded the driver so I'm going to use this one the MySQL connector Java 5.1.45 all right I configured it let's click on the test connection to ensure it's connecting it says test connection successful that means we are able to connect to the database click ok and click ok so we have configured the database configurations now select the operation over here there are multiple operations given over here like select insert update delete stored procedure in case if you want to call as of now i'm going with the select go down here there are different types of query you want to run like parameterize query dynamic query from template so select the first one parameterize first i'm going to do is that i'm going to full fetch that all details from that employee records so i'm going to write query simple one select star from emp records semicolon that's it we save it now the third component we'll need in our flow is that the details or the result coming from the database is in object form so we have to transform it into something so we have a ready-made transformers available like object to json object to string so i'm going to use object to json one i click it append it to my database connector eventually i'm going to add a logger
Oh my bad, I just created a different flow accidentally. Okay, and drag it again. Inside here, I say employee details are and I'll give payload. That's it, our flow is created. So let me start the server. Okay, so application is deployed. Let's clear the console and switch back to the postman. Here I have my request. I'm going to click on the send button. Once I click it, I should be able to get all the details in a JSON format since we are transforming it. So if I open my MySQL console, you can see the same details what we have in a table we are getting over here. So basically we are retrieving it from that table. So here we are able to connect to the database using database connector. Okay, right now we are just executing a simple select query to retrieve all data. We are not applying any where clause or we are not filtering out the details in a query. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass a department as a part of my request and I'm going to read that and will be passing to my query in a where clause. So for that purpose, I'll be creating a new flow. So again, the first component for my flow will be HTTP connector. Connector configuration is already configured. This time I'll take the same name, the path path name I'll take the same just the changes I'll be taking in a method name so this time I'm taking method name as a post I'm going to pass that department ID so I'll be adding over here it's a URI parameter I'm going to pass so I say department all right this is HTTP configured now the second component will be we're going to read that department ID and putting into a variable. So we have to set a variable before going to the database connector. So I drag that, click on the set variable. Here I say department ID and inside value. We have to read from that request. So in order to read that, read the department ID from the request, we have to write an expression message dot inbound properties dot http dot uri dot params dot department all right now we can add a database connector so i drag it into here db configurations are already done it's taking from the previous one operation again it's a select this time only the difference is we are making different query basically we are adding a where clause so select star from emp records where the column name what i have is department so department equal to you have to read that flow variables so flow mass dot department id that's it this will be this will be our query now next component is object to json transformer so this one i click on this append to a database connector eventually let's add a logger and just simple say payload that's it flow is created let me restart the application 
and let's try to hit this second flow all right application is deployed i go to the postman here this is the post request path is same it's just that we have to pass a uri parameter so as of now let's say i'm passing department as a banking so i should be able to get all the employee details who has a department as a banking so i click on send button here i got two records and as you can see department is a banking okay let's try to change the department to let's say insurance and see what do we get since we have only single record for insurance so it is giving us that so this way we can append any parameters to the query and execute using database connector thank you for watching